Welcome to Wendy Hill Kennel. So I've got all the kids under control now, I think. Um, this is December the 6th, and we're downstairs this morning with Brooks Litter. Uh, they are, they were born on the 1st, so they're five days old. Uh, they're doing super good. <clears throat> there are 10 of these little munchkins. Um, she blew our mind when she had 10. We knew she was not as big as her sister, and her sister only had eight, but uh, actually I think I can let them go now. So a couple things with this litter. Uh, we'll do videos every single week. I do not do pictures every week. So we're gonna put pictures on today. Well, I'm gonna take them today. If I get time, I'll get them on today so you can see all their baby, baby pictures. And then about three weeks old, um, when their eyes are open really good, we'll put some new videos on or new pictures on, I should say. And um, I'll put pictures on again about six weeks old. Other than that, we do videos every week. Um, I think it's nicer, you can see them more almost in real time. Um, and I'm always uh, available for calls and questions if you have you know, time. If you're a super long distance, we can do FaceTime. Um, so there's a couple other options if you wanna see something you know, up close more so um, when you call me. Uh, then I, my mind's just not saying this right. <laughs> so anyway, we can FaceTime if you need to see a puppy closer, if you can't make it here to see something. A lot of people never grace my doorstep. They buy them from the videos and the pictures. But um, if you wanna see it closer, uh, it's foolish to drive three hours to come spend 10 minutes and see them unless you really wanna and then that's okay. But um, I can't let you handle them and pet them, which a lot of people think I should, and I just can't. There's too big a chance of disease being brought in because they haven't had any of their shots, and they really aren't immune to parvo until about 16 weeks old. <coughs> so, <coughs> with that being said, if you're a first-time viewer with us on YouTube, please hit the submit button or the subscribe button, and uh, it will let you know every single time I paste, post a video. My mouth and brain just are not clicking together today um let's see what else can i tell you we're gonna do their tails uh or their nails and dew claws tails and dew claws were done at four days old so that's finished uh we cut their nails well they're gonna get their nails cut today because these little nails are like daggers they're just sticking to everything so we're gonna cut nails today we'll do a bath when the two weeks old when their eyes open she said okay i'm done i'm leaving <coughs> and uh we scoop the hair out of their eyes too, starting at about two weeks old because their hair grows right back in their eyes and that's what makes them tear and get nasty looking. So um, we'll do that and keep that up to date so they stay clean and fresh. We also do a hygiene clip about every two weeks with these guys. So they'll get a bath every single week. Um, they'll also be used to clippers and they'll be totally desensitized to clippers when they go home because they're on the groom table at least once a week um, just to be handled and have the clippers run on them and that type of thing. So, uh, let's get started. So the picks of the litter are given in the order you're on the list and I think there's just like three people on there. So if those three people pick fairly quickly, we're gonna just mark them available to the general public so there won't really be a waiting list. So. Um, right now we have four boys and six girls. I'm going to say right now, we don't expect that to change. <laughs> but this morning we've got them down here in the order they should be in. All right. Let's see if this is going to work. Nothing else is working right this morning. So it's a Monday on a Tuesday. We're going to start with the girls. This is the littlest one in the litter. All right, which I don't know why she's little. Mom and dad sure aren't. But with this many puppies, you always have small puppies at birth. 8846 is her microchip number. She's got a little bit of white dot on her head. She's got really pretty chocolate spots. She's got white on her toes, white on her back toes. And I think she's got a pretty big white chest. She's got a white tuxedo chest and a little bit of a white chin. All right, she has 9.4 ounces. I know, I'm sorry, you're back down. There you go. And you guys cannot moonwalk backwards. <clears throat> All right, this is a dark chocolate female with lots of gingerbread. I'm gonna hold her upside down here to let you see her feet are white on the back. 
feet are white on the front. I've discovered it's easier to do it this way than try and make her hold them up the right way. She's got huge white tuxedo chest. She's got white on her chin. This leg looks like somebody dipped her in the paint up halfway. Huh, and you can see these toenails. If I put them against this puppy, dark puppy, they look like little daggers. So we're gonna cut those little daggers off this morning. So nice fat baby. She's a big female. I think this is the bigger one, I'm not sure. She is 13 point, she's 12.8 ounces. She's doing too much wiggling. All right, you stay right here. No, no, no climbing over. I know you wanna swallow. All right, let's mash you in here. It's too hard to keep track of you. She's also the darkest chocolate in here. Um, looking down on top of them in the light where I'm at, this is a, lot, a little bit lighter than she is. Um, also, the chocolates in this litter are going to have a brown nose and should have hazel green eyes. This one is a black male. I don't think it's a phantom. No, I don't see any phantom markings. Um, he's not a happy camper. He says, I want to go back on the table. She says, I guess, she has a little tiny bit of white on her chest, no white on top of the front toes, and she's got a little tiny bit of white on the back. She's nice and shiny and you're getting, you're getting busy. Um, let's see what she weighs. So she is 15.2 ounces right now. Okay, let's put you over here. I'm gonna put you right here, separate these number. I, get, I thought I gave her a microchip number. Oh, nope, 8845, sorry, my bad. Ah. Uh, all right, this one is 88.47. I'm watching these guys down here, what they're doing. This one has white on her front toes, a little tiny bit of white on the back. She's a chocolate, she's got a big white chest. Nice, shiny, fat baby. And I'm gonna move you. She is 12.6. All right, who's crying? You, that was you. All right, they're just gonna kind of go, I gotta keep track of the one I didn't do yet. <laughs> I'll get mixed up. Gee, go figure that. All right, this one is a, another chocolate. Nice big fat female. She's got white on the back toes, white on the front toes, a little tiny dot of white on her chest, and maybe about 15 little white hairs on her goatee. And she is 88.42. And she is 14.6. Okay. Now, that finishes our girls. So let's do the boys. Let's do this great big guy. This is a chocolate with white feet on the front. His number is 8844. And he has a white tuxedo chest. White on his goatee. A little bit of white down on his belly. And he also has white on these back toes. If I can get him to lay on his back, it's easier to show you these toes this way, I think. So he's got white on these back toes. He says, oh, I can lay like this. Yeah, you just go to sleep. You're gonna go zonk out, lay, lay it on your back. All right, and he is one pound, 0 0.6. I knew you were pretty big by looking at you. All right, let's do the little fancy guy. This is the only male Merle in the litter. Where are you rolling to? We were really surprised when there was only two little Merles in this litter. Uh, this is 8850 and lots of really nice blue speckles. Got nice fancy white front feet. Both of them pretty much evenly marked. And he's got a little tiny bit of white on one back toe. His face also has a partial yin yang on one side and a little tiny white dot on the top. Dad to this litter is 23 to 24 pounds. Mom is 30, he's 10.4 ounces. And you're awake and you're hunting something to eat. I know, this is a black and silver. This one is all black, but he's gonna have silver up his legs, silver up the front legs to the knees. He's going to get eyebrows that come in that are silver, and he's gonna have silver in his ears. And does he have a little bit of white? Has a little tiny white dot on the chest. 
and he's a nice black ebony color. I know, Munchkin. Did I chip you? Make sure I did. Yep, 8843. 13, 12.4 12 12 ounces today. Last but not least is another, but I'm not going to tell you he's a black and silver because he is not going to be a black and silver. He looked like it from these. I'm trying to make sure these guys don't push this little one out. They bulldoze. So this puppy is really going to be a salt and pepper. That's unusual. Usually we don't get a salt and pepper. So first look, if you didn't know what you were looking for, you could see these silver legs and you would say it's a black and silver. And he also has the black and silver under the tail. But when I go like this, See the difference in the color? This is going to not be a black and silver. I would say he's going to be a silver. He could be a salt and pepper. Salt and pepper phantom, which is usually a darker gray on the body and the lighter silver on the legs. But I think he's going to turn all salt and pepper. I really do. He's gray clear up almost to the middle of his back. And the back is always the last thing that changes colors. So... This little stinker is absolutely changing colors. So I'd say uh, my best guess right now to tell you this is going to be a salt and pepper or a platinum silver, but definitely not black and silver. All right, let's see what your chip is, buddy. 8848. I don't think we've had a salt and pepper forever. I don't raise salt and peppers very often. 11.6. So that genetic gene in there with chaps and brooke or houdini this is houdini's why have i got chaps on the brain okay this is houdini's litter houdini is about 16 to 18 pounds depends on the time of year houdini is a chocolate and tan phantom with double blue eyes so i don't know where that salt and pepper came from um but it's definitely not going to be chocolate it's definitely going to be a salt and pepper that's pretty cool um, we've never had that out of them before. So we got a little bit of different colors in here. Make sure nobody else is doing that. Um, the blacks are all the same. Yeah, blacks are black. So that's the spiffy on this glitter. Um, they're doing really good. She's a great mom. She's doing a wonderful job nursing them. Uh, 10 pups is a lot. So, uh, we were just floored when she had this many babies. Um, so by all rights, um, mom is 30 pounds. Dad is only 16 to 18 in this litter. The other litter with, uh, Adele and Chaps, Adele is a solid 30 pounds also, but she was bred to a 23 to 24 pound male. So there'll be a little tiny difference in size, may not be a lot, but, um, there is a little bit of difference in the dads. You got about six pounds difference in those dads. So that's the story on this litter. If you have any questions at all, please email me or please don't email me. Um, shoot me a text or give me a call. Uh, my cell phone number will be under the video and it's also on the website. If you go to our homepage of the website, if you don't know anything about us, uh, you can look up, there's pictures of our home, our kennel, our, um, we're on Google Earth. So our Google map is also on the home page. And also, if you don't know anything about us, I know it is scary to buy on the internet. So there's a great place I'm gonna tell you to go to. I don't have time to do my Facebook page, but there's some clients of ours that started a Facebook page, uh, I don't know, probably four years ago now maybe. And it's called Wendy Hill Schnoodle Pup Parents. Not puppy, just pup parents. Wendy Hill Schnoodle Pup Parents. It's on Facebook. Um, so when you look them up on Facebook, you'll know you're on the right spot when it has a, a really pretty blue outline of Ohio. Uh, kind of like, a, I guess the whole map of Ohio is blue. And there's a black and white schnoodle on that, um, embedded in there on the map of Ohio. And that's, you'll know you're on the right spot. So they will ask you to join. Uh, they don't let other breeds on that site. So if you just tell them, hey, I'm thinking about a Windy Hill puppy. I'd like to join the website so I can ask questions to the clients. There are so many people on there that have been here, 
bought one, two, three, sometimes four of our dogs. Um, it's a great place to ask anything about us you want to ask. I, you're not going to offend me at all. You can ask about the conditions, our dogs, our facility, um, if we're honest. You name it. You can ask it, and they'll all be glad to answer you back. So take advantage of that site if you've never seen it. Um, and if you do buy a puppy from us, please post there. You will have so much interactions with other people from your litter. It's fun to keep a track of other people's puppies and, and the same litter you're from and see how they're doing and see if anybody's got any training tips if you're having issues. Uh, and you can always call us too, and we'll be glad to help you out with anything we can. So that being said, I'm out of here. I've got a client due in here this morning, but I wanted to get this started up uh, loading to the website. Um, call me if you have questions. Please don't email me. This time of year, with as busy as we are right now, I just am afraid I'll miss your email and you'll be upset I didn't get back to you. So text me or call me. Um, I don't mind either way. You can reach me till 9 o'clock at night Eastern Standard Time. And then you can still call me in the middle of the night and leave a message or a text because my phone automatically shuts off at 9 o'clock. So have a great week, a blessed one. Stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon.